My name is Nathaniel Wood. I'm a professional mixed martial artist and I train at a Team Titan in North London. I'm currently the Cage Warriors Bantamweight Champion. I originally got started in the sport when I was 16 years old. I had just finished school and I was doing carpentry at college, you know, and if I'm honest, I didn't enjoy it at all and I thought I don't want to be doing building work, anything like this for the next 40 years of my life. I like to think that my style is very fast paced. Every fight I have, you know, puts on a show for the crowd and, you know, that's what I like to do. I like to say controlled aggression, you know, I don't come in wild throwing shots and getting caught, but at the same time, you know, I don't, I don't hide away from a fight. I want to come and I want to get the finish. I originally got into mixed martial arts when I was about 16. I'd always watched it with my dad, uh, we'd always watch the UFC. In my career, you know, my dad's been a huge influence. If it wasn't for him, I would never have gone along and got into training. You know, he uh, supported me the whole time when I was 16 and I couldn't afford anything. You know, he was paying for my monthly membership at the gym. Um, you know, he's, he's played a massive role of it and if, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I am today. I've been involved in martial arts around about 30 years now. Starting off, first of all, karate, kaikushin, following on to uh, Thai boxing and to judo, which um, I kind of fell in love with and I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. My dad, he was training in Jiu Jitsu and he was training alongside Jimmy Manoa, Tim Radcliffe and a lot of other MMA fighters. And you know, I just went along with him one day and found out that I was good. And from going from one session a day, I was training three times a day, you know, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. Nathaniel first got into MMA really was uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, one day, we used to do a little bit at home on and off and then one day he decided he wanted to come with me which I didn't think he would stick to uh, basically doesn't like getting dirty doesn't like getting too close to other people and then next thing you know he's standing there with a gi uh, wrestling around with guys that are double his size and he just was like a duck to water Two years ago, I spoke to the guy in uh, Wayne at Raptors and just said, uh, if he minds that we go in and just do some pads and stuff, and within like one week he gave us a key, said, let yourself in and you know, just crack on. Just at uh, Raptors Gym in Sutton, as you can see by my bag, the struggle is real. You know, tight times. I've already trained once today, we've done wrestling this morning at Team Titan. Pads now with dad, and then I'm done for the night. So I'm gonna let <laughs> Technically, the first session of the uh, fight camp. Never, never fun. Worth it. Train hard, fight easy. The first time I met Brad was I was in Kingston and I didn't know him. He just yelled at me in Kingston. Uh, I didn't know who it was. I shouted, "Yo, Brad!" And, and he looked around at me and looked like he was pretty pissed. Um, I just went, well, hey, like that, and you know, he just sort of went, oh, hey, man, looked at me like a right weirdo. And then he messaged me on Twitter, yeah. saw that there was a fire, I replied back to him, and found out he lives in the area, then we got together, we done a bit of training, and I told him, hey, why don't you come to team time with me in North London, and he was like, okay, cool, and then the rest of us have to say his history, he's been with me ever since. I've got a great relationship with Brad, you know, he's, uh, personality-wise, we get on very well, you know, we like to wind each other up. Um, but as a coach, you know, I, there's not a fault, I couldn't knock him. And we'll see his last fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, he's there for me. He goes far and beyond what a normal coach would do. You know, I don't know many coaches, they get in their car, drive, pick you up, take you to a gym, hold pads for you, and don't make a penny off me. So, I honestly think he's the best coach out there. That's how you grab him now. Head comes offline. Oh, what? 
training at Team Titan is amazing. You know, the gym is honestly, I, I can't knock it. There's, there's the best gym in the UK, hands down. Today, you know, in the morning practice, in the daytime, we've got probably about 30 pros on the mat. The only bad side for me is it takes me an hour and a half to get to, but other than that, I think it's the best gym in the UK. My team around me, you know, they're, they're, they're so supportive. You know, I can't knock them. I've got so many sparring partners, you know, I, I couldn't count them on two hands. Um, they're always there, always there for me, always there for each other. You know, my coaches, I, I haven't just got a relationship in the gym with them, you know, outside of the gym, we're going for food, you know, they're, they're close to me. So, you know, my team really is, hands down, I'd say the best team that I could ask for. That's a rapid result, score mate. It's keeping me healthy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome as he makes the walk to the cage in his hometown of London, the reigning champion in the Cage Warriors Bantamweight division, Nathaniel, the Prospect World. My goals in the sport are just to go all the way, you know? I want to keep winning, keep fighting, and have a nice, healthy career. You know, I'd like to make a lot of money doing it. And, uh, you know, just be able to provide for my family and comfortably and, you know, that's that's my main aims in the sport. My next fight is against, I think you said, Luca Lovin. He's an Italian fighter. Um, he's 12 wins, one loss, so he's got a great record. You know, he's coming in on an eight win streak. Um, but, you know, I'm confident that I'll get the job done and, you know, he hasn't faced anyone like me, so I'm confident I'll get the win.